Hey there, Leonardo here. I'm going to show you the entire process of creating a Mac from beginning to end. This is a really simple business model, but it requires that you put out there a lot of Macs. And everything starts just doing this work. So I'm going to do it manually in front of your eyes so you know everything is involved. It's pretty simple, but it still takes some time. So I'm going to divide this video in two parts. In the first part, I'm going to show you what we'll be doing, and I'll be doing it at the same time. But obviously, I'm going to use some extra time to stop and explain to you what we're doing and why we're doing it that way. In the second part of this video, I'm going to use this uh, clock, basically to clock myself as I'm doing this, to see how long it takes to create and publish one single Mac. So, let's get started. We're going to use a couple of tools. First, we're going to use one tool for the design, and then we're going to use another tool or a platform for the publishing of the Mac. This platform is called GearBubble.com. You could use other print-on-demand platforms, but I usually recommend this one just because of the fact that their prices are great, they have great products, and mostly because they have direct integration with marketplaces like Amazon, eBay, um, Etsy, etc. right? So that means that you can simply create a Mac, publish it online for free in Gearbubble because Gearbubble is completely free to join. And you could even sell it from there because Gearbubble is going to give you a link, a URL that you can promote where your Mac is for sale. Let's take this Mac. This Mac is for sale and anybody can come to this URL and can buy it with check, uh, can check out with credit card or with PayPal. So just with that, with a free Gearbubble account, you can have your own Mac business. You don't need anything else. But the great thing about Gearbubble is that they have a service that, I'll, I'll, that does drop shipping for you. So they send this product to your customers in your behalf, and they have direct integrations with marketplaces like Amazon, Etsy, eBay, even with your Shopify store, etc. that you may not want to do now, but you probably want to explore in the future because it's really uh, something incredible that you can push your product to a huge marketplace like Amazon and get sales there. So let's go back and start using these tools and I'm going to show you the entire process. So first we're going to go over the design and second I'm going to show you a step by step how to launch a campaign in your bubble. Again, this is completely free. Canva is free too, so you can open a Canva account, register a Canva account, and it's completely free. So what this involves? First, involves having, and I prepared this beforehand, a list of phrases. You can get this online pretty easily, doing some research on Google, finding quotes, find, finding funny uh, phrases or funny sayings or uh, there are different ways of saying this but you can find lots of this online so that's pretty easy and you should have done this beforehand uh, i recommend that you get at least 10 20 phrases before uh, starting to do this because your time is gonna be uh, a lot better used if you do this uh, in, in such a way. So you first collect the phrases, when you have your phrases in a document like this, then go and do the design for all of them, and then you have all of them designed and converted into a PNG file, you're going to upload them and create the maps with them through uh, Gearbubble's platform. So we have this on one side, we have Canva that's completely free, and we have Gearbubble that's completely free. So let's get started with the process. The first thing you want to do is, in your Canva account, create a design. You mostly are going to do this just the first time, but I want you to know that you create a design with custom dimensions, and I'm going to use and recommend 1000 per 1000 pixels. I create a design, Right? 
And the second thing I want to make sure is that this design is transparent. You don't have to worry about that at this point. Uh, when we download the design, we're going to pick a transparent design because this should be transparent, right? The background should be transparent. Uh, next thing that we need to do is to add text. And normally when you create this kind of max, you're going to use one or two fonts, either Impact, that is the font I'm using here, it's my personal favorite, or Arial, that is the favorite of many people has to be a really simple font. Why? Well, there are many reasons for this, but mainly si you start adding uh, different kind of fonts and colors and uh, some uh, design details, etc. Many people are not going to really resonate with your design and not going to get your Mac. So the, the most effective Macs are these Macs with black text on white Macs and the text in a really simple font like Arial or uh, Impact. In this case, uh, you can use other software, obviously. You can use um, pretty much any software you can do this. This is super simple. You can use uh, Photoshop, of course. You can use Paint on Windows. You can use any software that allows you to... I, I, I would think I never used it, but you could use, probably use uh, Photoshop or something similar too. Because the only thing that you need to do is your add text uh, here, right? In, in the middle of the design, this is a square. And I'm, I'm trying to use the full square because this square is going to be uh, uploaded to the Mac, right? So I'm trying to use the full extent of this square. Uh, I recommend that you use a, a bold font. In this case, uh, I don't have the option of Arial. Uh, doesn't have it for some reason, doesn't have Arial and doesn't have a uh, impact. That's my favorite. But in some other software, you could probably use these fonts. And so you don't have it, just something similar like this is not too bad, right? So I can use this, or maybe let me see. See, it has something similar to Arial. Sorry, it's not here. Uh, here, Arial. Maybe this is similar. Yeah, this is similar. So let's call it Arial. Do uh, this in a bold font. Make sure of extending this pretty much to the borders because we want to use the whole space with the design. And this is something that you have to set up pretty much one time, right? You have this canvas that is 1,000 pixels per 1,000 pixels, and, and, and you set up this this way. Now, when you have this set up, you have to create your design. So let's pick any of this, and I basically copy and paste into my design. Now, you can see that when I paste inside, now all of a sudden, uh, I have to start working on it to make it fit, right? And when I say making fit, is obviously getting inside the canvas. That's the first part of it. So I want to, this is 96. Let's, let's make it, I think I can do this. Okay, so easier to do it this way. And now it's inside the canvas. See, uh, see something that, Maybe makes no sense, like uh, uh, the way that this is divided. I, I, I could probably do something like this, right? Maybe this, to make it look a little better, right? But you don't have to, to waste a lot of time on this. Once that you have this, then you go and download your design, right? And this is important. It has to be a transparent background. So I check transparent background, I download my design, and I have my design over here. So this is the first part of the process. You can see this pretty simple, but every time that you have to uh, pick a new phrase, considering the phrases are different lengths, uh, you probably have to accommodate this again. Let me see what happened here. Let me 
see. Yeah, for some reason, it's not taking the, the size of the font. Can happen too. So now let's go for 80 or something. Okay. Uh, I have to put a center. And again, let's try to do it this way. It's easier. So it adapts to the space. No, no every software that you have is going to have this functionality to adapt to the space. Sometimes you have to manually cut the lines and, and do, do it this way. In this case, for instance, makes no sense having it at the very end. So I could probably make fonts a little 78. Let's try 77. Same thing. Let's try 70. Right, that makes a little bit more sense. Uh, but again, probably this off should go there. Uh, and this is basically what takes most of your time when you're doing this, right? Try to put in a way that looks better, right? So you probably have to, for every phrase, do this. And in case it doesn't cover the whole space for some reason, uh, you obviously can try to do something like this and this to add an extra line. Uh, and see, it doesn't cover the whole space, so you have to mo move it. And Canva helps you with these uh, guidelines. So you know it's in the center, what should be, and then you download. So it's not difficult, remember to put transparent background. Uh, it's not difficult to do, but takes time just because each phrase is different, right? So some are shorter, needs to be in a in a font that has a bigger size. You can see again when I copy and paste, just lose the font, the font size, and lose to the best center. Good thing about Canvas is just one click here. So when I center it, uh, I could say, okay, but this probably doesn't look good with just one uh, word at the end. So let's try something like, make the rest of my life, the best of my life. Okay, that looks pretty acceptable. And then I want to put it in the middle. By the way, I, I, I told you before, and I have forgotten to use this as bold, and mostly is better. And transport the ground and download. This is everything that there is to the design. It's a really, really simple design, and these simple designs are the ones that work the best. When we have these designs, we're going to the second part of this process, which is just creating here in your GitHub account. Once again, you can sign up for free for your GitHub account. And when you sign up for free, and you have to obviously confirm your email, otherwise you cannot sign up, uh, you're going to see this when you log in. The, the process, the full process of publishing a Mac is like this. Go to launch campaign, go to traditional. Let, let me just put this a little bigger in case that you cannot see well. Uh, so go to launch campaign, traditional. Then you have the different kind of products that Girvavo produces. Coffee Mac is selected by default. So I only go to next step. And here's where I have to upload my design. So I'm going to upload, click on upload graphic. And then I'm going to my downloads and get one of these guys that I just created. Let's go with the last one. It's going to upload, it's going to take some time depending on your internet connection. Uh, and when it's here, obviously we have to stretch it out to cover most of the Mac, right? Once I did this, uh, I have the option to go with a black Mac, but obviously in this case uh, that they have uh, black text is not gonna work. So leave it in, in white. You can change your price if you want here. You can leave it like that. In, in this price, you have a $15 profit. You can say 
1795, click outside, you want to say, uh, want to see that your profit is 13 now. Whatever you want with your price, you can change there. Uh, ignore this part. And I recommend to put duplicate image on the back. Why? Because normally, if you don't do that and you see the back, the back is going to be completely blind, right? But some people uh, are, are left-handed, some people are right-handed. So the base is just duplicate image on the back. So image, in this case, text is going to be in both sides. That's going to work for any person. Then go to next step. And this is where you have to pay a little bit more attention because here we have to add a campaign title. Mm -hmm. What I normally do is add in a campaign title that has a, obviously Coffee Mac or Funny Coffee Mac because this is basically what people are going to be looking for. Funny Coffee Mac. Uh, Something that's really recommended is one that you publish this to Gearbubble, use Gearbubble's integrations to post these products to Amazon, where, because Amazon has tons of traffic. But how people are going to find your product? Well, they're going to Amazon.com, and they're going to be looking for something like Funny Dr. Mac or something like that. Somehow, I don't know why I'm jumping around. Dr. Mac or Funny Dr. Mac right and you're gonna find all these Macs okay so because of that I like to put at least funny coffee Mac it could be funny Dr. Mac see that is what the Mac's about uh, but at least funny coffee Mac is what most people are looking for and then what I like to do is put a colon or 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 a dash or something and then just copy the phrase okay so in this case it would be I choose and you can copy them from here right uh, easier and faster uh, I copy the phrase here right not necessarily you have to use quotations but the reason why I like to copy the phrase is because normally the phrase includes inside keywords that are related to the to, to this particular niche. So you basically are getting different keywords uh, because you're using the phrase here. And then I add something just to, to close the cell, like great gift for your colleagues or colleague and friends, right? Trying to cover all our bases here. The title is the most important part of your uh, listing when it comes to really getting free traffic from Amazon, in this case. Okay, so we have that. And then we have description. You can create your own description, uh, but so you're using really a gear bubble to post your products to Amazon or Etsy, etc., they go with a pretty decent description, but you could edit this. Uh, I would recommend, if you're doing this manually, do, don't waste time on this, because uh, it's not going to make a lot of difference, uh, SEO-wise. Then keep going. Uh, the next thing that you need is to put a Slack. A slack is what comes after GitBubble.com for your listing. Let's try coffee, funny, funny Mac. Obviously, it's gonna be take taken, and it's telling me it's taken. So, so you try Max, it's taken. You normally have to try several times. Sometimes add some letters or numbers, and, and you're gonna see that in this case, this one is not taken. Okay, so keep going. Your price is already. Uh, Updated here because we're already in the, in the last screen. Uh, the only other thing that you need to do here is just click in I accept the terms of service and launch campaign. And that's everything there is to it. Obviously, I didn't do it as fast because I was explaining the process. But, you know, I forgot something really important. But 
doesn't matter. I'm going to show you in a minute why it's important. Uh, I'm going to open this listing and this coffee mug is already there, ready for people to come to this address, right? And buy it with credit card or PayPal. So you can even sell it here completely free. You don't need to push it to Amazon, Etsy, or anywhere else. You could promote it in this link, right? Uh, but obviously, you can take advantage of other marketplaces too. Now, the one thing I didn't tell you is this. This is the title, and as you can see, is the title I wrote, where I start with Funny Coffee Mac, what most people are going to be looking for. Uh, I put my phrase in the middle in case that I need, uh, I have some in this case, no match, but many times it's a phrase uh, for doctor, for nurses, or whatever. Most likely it's going to say doctor, nurse, or whatever inside the phrase. And it's giving me extra keywords to rank, right? And then, like closing the sale, right? It's giving them some reason to buy. Now, the thing is, see, you think in the future to push these products from Gearbubble to Amazon, which is a click of a button using their uh, native integrations. Amazon uh, allows only 130 characters maximum in their titles. So, see, we go to somewhere like, uh, let's look in Google, count characters. There are many tools for this. Let's go to character counter and take this title. is 119 characters, so we're pretty okay. Problem is that not all phrases are this short. So, if we were to use a longer phrase most and, and put the phrase inside, most likely the title would not comply with the requirements to, to be uh, posted as a product in Amazon.com, and that is a big deal. So this is something that we have to check uh, when we're creating the titles, especially when we have long um, long phrases. See, you want to use this technique that I sincerely recommend. So what I want to do now is we're going to start over, right? Launch new campaign. We want to start over. Let's go from the beginning. And this time I'm going to do it I'm going to do the, the entire process, doing exactly the same things I did before, adding this counter to see that we really have a, a, a title that is, uh, is going to comply with Amazon's requirements. But I'm not going to do any explanation. I want to try to do it right, but do it fast too, so we know how much time it's going to take. Okay, so we have this here. We're all ready to go. What I'm going to do now is pick a long phrase. We have a long phrase here. And let's see how much time it, this takes. So I'm going to start here. And I'm going to go to my phrase, copy. I'm using Command C or Control C, Command B or Control V. I'm taking the whole thing here, and I don't know what it says multiple fonts, but uh, that happens when we just paste inside, right? Uh, so this is a long phrase, as you can see. So let's took all of this. We're going to need something smaller, most likely. Okay, 64. That looks good. Uh, we're going to center, we're going to do this bold, and obviously the I doesn't look good there, the A alone doesn't look good there. Um, probably we need to, sorry, I'm not trying to waste time, but this, uh, this is what takes more time, right? Just try to figure out a way that looks pretty nice. I don't want to waste a lot of time on that. I think that this is acceptable. We're going to center and we're going to download. 
transparent that's it and now I'm going to give bubble launch campaign traditional coffee mac next step upload the design upload the graphic here the last one okay now I have to straight it out right uh, leaving the price like it is I'm gonna duplicate on the back I'm gonna go to the next step and now I come with the title and again uh, let me do funny coffee mac and now column and I'm going to use the same phrase I think I already have copied it yes and then I'm going to put a great gift for your friends and colleagues and remember the problem with titles we cannot go over 130 characters if we want to push this to Amazon this 220 so what I normally do is just try cutting the, the phrase somewhere right still 170 something she told me let me post there 144 is still too much uh, let me do there 162 so it looks like I have to cut it here uh, one should I say, I'm adding three dots to show that the, the phrase continues right 129 that is good enough uh, I'm gonna copy this paste it here leave the description alone uh, Funny mag. Uh, I don't know F. Yeah, that exists somehow. <laughs> um, and you can try uh, numbers, etc. Leaving everything else alone, except in terms of service. Publishing. Awesome. So we stop here four minutes and city five seconds, right? Obviously, it's not always uh, that fast because sometimes it's gonna take you more time to just uh, divide the phrases and lines and, and, and work the the, the, the the font size, etc., to make a look accept of a good sometimes it's going to take you more time to to, to find the the, the slug and, and, and to word the title etc etc but i think that four minutes uh, and a half five minutes is probably a good idea how how much it takes so it's not a lot but obviously see we have to create 100 of this this is going to take some time and probably it's going to take more than five minutes each because see, we do this as a machine we're trying to 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 make mistakes and 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 uh, in, in in different parts of the process in titles in etc and maybe we have to re reduce certain things so most likely it's going to take a little bit more than that but let's do an average of six seven minutes uh, that would be yeah let's make it six six minutes in average 100 designs would be pretty much 10 hours of work and as we know we need at least to push 1000 to 2000 designs or, or max uh, in case that we're using amazon to get the traction that we need to get rankings and sales from them so thank you for watching i want to show you the whole process in case that you want to do this manually 
As you can see, it's not rocket science, it's just hard work because you're going to have to be doing this day in and day out for months and months to get the thousands of designs that you really need to get traction this way. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.